How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be another collection video and to continue on with the comic book uh, movies uh, today I'm going to show our entire X-Men and Wolverine movie collections so it's going to be seven items total uh, three of which are on Blu-ray, uh, one's a steelbook and uh, the rest are DVD three of them uh, I found used later on but the rest were all uh, new so uh, with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we're going to start out with the original X-Men. There you go. This is a DVD version. There you go. And this packaging is really nice. Really nice set. There you go. And it is very shiny. So I do apologize about the uh, glare and stuff. So there you go. Show some of the characters. And then there you go. So here is the very first one. And just looking back at it, this was really huge when it came out. Uh, this was a really big deal. And uh, here are the special features. There you go. And yeah, um, just remember all the promotion going on for it. Hey guys, how you doing? There you go. And then the reception it got when it eventually came out. Because I believe this did really well. Uh, so there you go. Here's Magneto. There's Wolverine. There's Mystique. There's Wolverine again. There you see the disc. There you go. There you see Storm, Sabretooth. And there's Cyclops. And you also get this booklet. Some more pictures of the characters. And it just shows the chapter list. There you go. And there you go. And yeah, looking back at this, uh, this was okay for what it was. Um, I thought it was fine. Uh, I thought the cast, uh, they had a really nice cast for this. Uh, which I think was really good. And uh, yeah, so you had the original first one. And then... We got the second one, X2 X-Men United. So this is the widescreen two disc edition. There you go. So yeah, this was the much anticipated sequel <laughs> after the first one. Once again, really shiny. There you go. Let it clear up. Show some of the characters. More pictures, there we go. Story details. So you get a lot of special features, which is really nice. Also, Nightcrawler attack, yes. You, this is when Nightcrawler gets introduced. And what an introduction. <laughs> so there you go, here's the disc, Wolverine, and Lady Deathstrike, which I don't believe she ever got named in the movie itself, so. There you go, there's Nightcrawler, there's Jean Grey, Cyclops in the back. There you go. And I thought the actor they got for him, uh, I thought he did really well. I thought he was cool. And then in the back, little pamphlet, you get the scenes. There you go. And then it also shows uh, the special features like what's on disc one and then the rest of them on a uh, disc Two. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so Death Strike. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I just don't remember um, them actually saying the name, or maybe Magneto said it, I think, once. There you go, if I recall correctly. There's Mystique. There's Death Strike. There's Magneto. There you go. So yeah, and the second one, um, I thought was really cool, especially that scene with Nightcrawler. Just what an introduction. And then they also introduced some other characters as well. I thought they did really cool. And then the last one, the much anticipated <laughs> uh, third one to the trilogy, there's a full screen version of X-Men The Last Stand. There you go. Get a nice shot of all the characters. Right here, or uh, some of them. There you go. There you see the spine. See the picture right there. 
There we go. So there's the story details here. And all of these should be available on Blu-ray. Yes, this is where Beast gets introduced. Uh, great job by the actor. And uh, he looked really close to the, uh, some of the comic book designs, which I thought was great. The Juggernaut. <laughs> oh, man. What if they had a really funny scene with him? It was great. So here are some of the special features. So they all should be available uh, separately on Blu-ray and in a, uh, I think a few different collections. Uh, yeah, like a few different collection sets. And I believe it was either with the original one or the second one. There's like a 1.5 or like a 2.0, something like that. I want to say this one got like a, a special edition as well. There you go. And then these were other releases. So you have Daredevil, the director's cut. I have found that. Electra. I have seen all these. And Fantastic Four as well, which I will show later. <laughs> there you go. Daredevil and Electra. Or, excuse me. Daredevil and Electra. I have seen them. Uh, we don't have either of those. So. I'll just double check to see if we did, but we don't. So there we go. So yeah, overall, uh, the original trilogy, uh, it's pretty fun for what they were. Uh, definitely say, do they hold up? Mm, maybe not quite as well. Because uh, I think maybe the way they were made, like maybe in comparison to the way some of these movies are made now. Uh, but for what they were, I could just pop it in, or excuse me, pop it in. <laughs> Can't talk today. And just have fun with them. So, so you had the original trilogy. And then um, it was kind of like, well, is there going to be another movie or, you know, is that it? And then we started hearing rumors about another one. And they did. So they released X-Men First Class. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. There you go. So this was the latest one at the time. And this was really cool. They, they uh, redid the entire cast. So you get, uh, it focuses on uh, Xavier and uh, Magneto's, uh, you know, them when they were working together and stuff. And as far as this Blu-ray edition, it's really nice cover. There are other ones where it'll just have, like, a certain character on it. Kind of like a collector's thing. There you go. There's the spine. Show more of that. It's really nice and shiny. There you go. So after the original trilogy and then, um, you know, just wondering what are they going to do next? And, uh, you know, this was a really nice change. I thought it was really cool. So this is a three disc set. There's a Blu-ray, special features and stuff. Here's the DVD. And the third disc is the digital copy. So here you go. There's other special features there. You can see the front. So this one I found uh, used. There you go. Pretty cheap. Alright. So there is the Blu-ray. And here is the DVD. Really nice. And here is the digital copy disc. So yeah, first class. Uh, very well done. Uh, the characters are great. The villain. Uh, the new cast of characters, like there, you do have some returning ones, or I think it's mostly just, yeah, like a couple of, or some of them, and then, you know, the new cast was really great, so I happened to find that version, but then there was also another edition that I wanted to get, uh, cause that one I got for one of my brothers, and they had a steelbook that I wanted to pick up, cause I missed it when it got released. And uh, I found it. It's a little beat up, a little scratched. But uh, here is First Class, the Steelbook, which is really nice. There you go. See Magneto with his helmet. There's Xavier. There you go. And here's what you get in the back. You get a nice shot of a bunch of the different characters. There you go. That is really nice. So it's just a single disc uh, Blu-ray, just the original one. And then 
You also get some inside artwork, which I always like when they do that. There you go. And get a further shot of it right there. Very nice. Okay, so that does it for first class. And uh, yeah, this was really nice. I thought this was a really nice film. Uh, I think the writing was good. The characters were great. And uh, yeah, action was awesome. Uh, music was cool. The villain in that I thought was really good. And uh, so you had all of these. And then Wolverine had his own set of films. So there is one that we don't have, and that is Origins. We do not have that one. But we do have The Wolverine. This is another Blu-ray DVD copy, or uh, DVD uh, combo pack. There you go. So this is the one where the setting is uh, him in Japan. It's like the Wolverine uh, anime series that uh, got released. There you go. And this I thought was really cool. I thought it was pretty awesome because I always like that idea of having the setting being uh, like Japan or, you know, just Wolverine in general because the stuff that you could do, you know, with just his character. I mean, even if it wasn't him, I mean, pretty much any other character might work, you know, depending on how it's done. There you go. Let's see if I can get it to clear up. There we go, a little better. There we go. So the back is a little bit different, just more pictures and stuff. So there we go. And there was an option for like a digital comic uh, thing. And then here is the DVD digital copy. And then here is the Blu-ray. There we go. So really nice. So yeah, this was really good. Uh, the action in this, I think a lot more violent. <laughs> Which I think fits the Wolverine character. Uh, it, was just, it was just really cool. And then, last but not least, uh, this is a really awesome film. And I believe, according to Hugh Jackman himself, this was his last performance as Logan. So here is... Logan <laughs> on Blu-ray and DVD with digital copy. Here you go. And then here is the three disc set with the black and white version known as Logan Noir, which I didn't know there was until uh, the Blu-ray got released. So, but I, I think that's cool. And I did check it out. It looks great. Boy, does it look great on Blu-ray. It looks fantastic. There you go. Like clear up a bit. Oh, sorry. And then, uh, yeah, theatrical and Logan Noir versions. There you go. That's better. And here are these special features. There you go. And the cover without the uh, the slip is uh, pretty much the same. There you go. And. Here are the discs. Okay. So here is the DVD version movie special features. Here is the Blu-ray of Logan. And then here is Logan Noir on Blu-ray. And yes, I have seen both. The Noir version looks pretty good. As well, along with the regular edition. So, there we go. So that just about does it for all of the Wolverine and X-Men films. So, there we go. So, let me go ahead and zoom in a bit for you guys. There you go. So, yeah. Uh, awesome set of films. Um, you know, the original trilogy. Yeah, they, it had its problems. I can see why, you know, some things just didn't work. Uh, but the overall, I could just pop it in and have fun. And then First Class, I think it, they just got a little better and stuff. And then The Wolverine was really good. And then Logan just hit it out of the park. It was just really great. And if it is Hugh Jackman's last role, if it was as Logan, uh, awesome job. 
really really great job so uh, with that uh, let me know what you guys think of these have you seen all of these or some of them and uh, what you guys think so with that like the video if you do subscribe if you like and I'll see you guys next time